know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this. With, this, with all due respect, you don't have to answer directly to you if you don't want to. Do you know how he passed away? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Watching all my gamers and NFT enthusiasts, the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast is hooked up with the Lightest Sphere Network to offer you something special. Go to the top line of the description box and click on the link to play a season three of the game Finesse Shadow Wars. It's brought to you by play.finesse.fun. Go to the top line of the description box if you went to NFTs and if you went to gaming. Go have non-stop fun. Tell me your boy Oga sent you. Link is at the top line of the description box. Play.finesse.fun. Go get it. Let's um talk about Quincy's death. Um, it's been a lot of controversy. People talking about you know they think that you know maybe it was more than you know what they say of him dying of extra the methazine for being false sir and sleep apnea. Where were you at when he died? How do you feel? How do you feel about his death? How do you feel about the experiences about his death also? <laughs> Where was I at when he died? Yeah, I was at his house. <laughs> well, yeah. at, at I was at the high. We was all at the high rise. The high rise was in Houston. Okay, his house was in Port Arthur. Okay, and uh, he had left that Thursday, and uh, Shannara recently left with him. That's his wife, and uh. He wanted to get, he wanted to get, shout out to Gigi. He wanted to get Jiggy with this little chick. Uh, so he had to get Shannara out of there. Y'all asked for the uncut shit. I'm just going to tell y'all what it is. That's right. And uh, so he sent Shannara home. Shannara, uh, me and Ed picked her up from the airport. I think he sent her home Saturday morning or something like that. So we get back. And uh, I talked to him Saturday night. That's when he was he was crunk. He had uh, DJ Paul. He was by DJ Paul. And when he called me, I could hear certified. I could hear my album playing in the background, like blast, and I could tell it was playing through the monitors. And he was like, "Man, wake up, DJ Paul. Want to talk to you?" And uh. So I think it might have been like 1 30 in the morning at late time, but it was that I means it's like 3 30 in the morning in Houston. I was ripping knocked out. Like, and I was like, same, same way of thinking with Trill Entertainment. It's nothing against DJ Powell or none of that. It's just like I, I in my mind, I'm like, I'm already with Pimp C. I'm where I want to be. I'm glad they like it, but I'm going back to sleep. And I remember hanging up and I woke up to some text message of Pimp. Cussing me out. I'm out here working for you, nigga, and you don't even want to get on the phone, blah, blah, blah. But he didn't. So I had to tell, like, bro, I'm where I want to be, bro. I, I ain't mean no disrespect. Like, it's just tell power. I'm glad they like it. You feel me? Like, I don't know what else to say. I'm I'm where I want to be. So after that, I didn't hear from him no more. Uh, Sunday, his cousin, all I was in the high ride was me, Shannara, and his cousin. And, uh, so Monday, yeah, from then Tuesday morning, and that's, I'm giving y'all the short, uh, the short story because if I try and tell y'all everything, it takes forever. But so Tuesday morning, anyway, that's when we all get up and we all like, okay, you talk to him, you talk to him, you know, everybody like, no, no, all three of us, we like, no, and that's when we knew, knew like something was wrong because we wasn't really communicating like with each other, like asking each other we just assuming that that you know one of us is texting with him back and forth but then that that morning that tuesday morning once we are we you know we asked each other and then it was no shanar called a mondrian and y'all didn't heard the tapes and everything from there so we uh yeah that fucked us up for a minute like i really can't remember what we was doing to tell y'all bro for like an hour for about an hour and a half me shanara and his cousin was just like we was all in in 
the house together, but we was like, it's like everybody kind of split up and kind of broke down. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I remember calling Mama West, and uh, and but before I knew it, this the weird part about it. Uh, Red Boy and Bun showed up, and uh. Bun didn't even know how to get there. Red Boy had to tell him how to get there. That was Bun's first time over there. So, uh, you know, Bun walks in and Bun and Red Boy, and we all, like, I mean, everybody face, bro. We all looked the same, bro. It was like, I still, like, it's a feeling that you get, like, it's not real. Like, this, this, ain't, this, this can't be, like, but anyway, we jump in the truck. Bun drives us to the airport the whole time. In my head, I'm thinking Bun coming with us. Uh, we got to go identify the body. We got to go get his stuff out the room. You know, we, I'm knowing in my head, okay, get his hard drive, like his, get his computer. Somebody better get his computer because I know what we've been doing in PA and the shit that he been keeping away from everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, and um, uh, but we got to the airport and um, uh, and he just dropped us off and he didn't come with us. And uh, I just remember always thinking, and I remember this. Uh, we walking in the airport and uh, he was at the back of his truck and he said something. I turned, I was like, "What's up?" And he was like, "Come here." And so I go back to him. Me and him talking at the back of the truck, and he asked me a question that I won't say on here, but he know what he asked me. And I said, you should know that. You should know the answer to that. Like, in other words, y'all, that's some dumb shit. Y'all ain't been communicating. And I said, but to answer your question, the answer is yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, so he just kind of dropped his head. And he's like, damn. He's like, man, I knew it. He was like, but. You know, we just we we had a little conversation. Then I had to go because I yeah. I'm going to identify the body. He's not coming. Why is he not coming? That's all I'm thinking. Like, um, so yeah. Then we had to go out there and, and get his stuff out the room and um, go identify his body. He was already they had already made the Y incision, and you know, but they had the plastic around him and you know his tattoos. There, he just looked like he was. I can't get that image from being, you know, that's something that's burned in my head. And that's another reason why Bun, I'm, Bun get on my nerves with that shit. Cause why don't, he should have to see that too in his head yeah. every day. You know what I'm saying? Like he should have to see what that bed looked like and what the room, how the room was and seeing, you know, pimp cut open and just like, why didn't, I'm why little old me, the one that pimp just said, give me him and move me in with him. Why am I the one here having to see all this? You feel me? But I, I owed it to my nigga. I would I wouldn't change it, but just in my head, I'm like, that was a lot for me, and I still don't that's why I don't do too many interviews because I I have to relive that shit. I can't get that out of my head when they you ever had somebody roll your love one night on a goddamn thing and they wrapped in plastic and they already cut the fuck open? I'm going to take that as a no. no, yeah, no. yeah, nah, you don't. Ain't no shit you want to see. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this because there was a lot of, <clears throat> lot of people in the camp who started coming out, going against you, saying you weren't there for this, you weren't there for that. How does it make you feel to know that you lived with this man for a year, a little under a year, whatever the case may be. You had to identify the body. Like you said, something that'll always be with you to the day you die. But you have people out there that weren't there talking about how you weren't there for that situation. So how does that make you just like I'm sure that fucking furious you? It used to. It used to. Yeah, it used to. But uh now nah, what remember when I told y'all like it's Family, like, nah, man, my brother, my mom, my brother, my mama, my dad, Mama West, Pops, you know, like, all, like, that, mom, Mama West and my mama was like sisters, 
So my my mama told Mama West, you can borrow him because Pimp was her only child. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when Pimp passed away, like Mama West, shout out young Pimp, free young Pimp. That his name is Decorey, Pops, and all them. They was coming to stay by me. I had a house in Houston, and they would just come stay by me and go to Port Arthur to get a change of clothes, feed the dog, come back. So I don't I don't care what none of them fools say. I know what it is. Like the pictures is right there still. My mom, you know what's on my mama dresser? It's a picture of me and Pimp and a picture of me and my brother. I only got one brother. So that's how, and it was the same way at Mama West's house. Like, so I don't care what none of them clowns be talking about because they wasn't there when I was there. If I wasn't there while they was there, well, I don't know. I don't, that's God's work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was there when I was there. And when I was there, most of these clowns that be talking about that, I ain't, I ain't see them. You know what I'm saying? They don't know me. Half of them ain't really never even shook my hand and had a conversation with me. Or you might have been a pallbearer with me, but th that don't mean I know you. And I ain't even see you until him funeral. You know what I'm saying? Like, or Mama West funeral. Like, so once again, I don't love everybody that pimp love. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to. I'm not supposed to. So I'm older now and I see what they doing. You know what I'm saying? And the sad thing is they older than me. So if that's what they feel like they got to do to take some kind of credibility away from me for some shit that they think I'm trying to do that I ain't even trying to do, let them have at it. Because I got shit going on in my life. Like, motherfuckers, it didn't stop when Pimp died. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, nah, motherfuckers. I, maybe for them, but no, nah, I got I got I got better shit to do, man. But I know exactly what y'all talking about. Yeah, I see the fuck shit. But the answer is now that I done got older, luckily, nah, that shit don't bother me no more. Cause I already I already see what they trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And whoever is misled and believe that shit, then that's they lame. Motherfuckers who know the truth know the truth. Over the years, there's been a lot of uh, people that suggest a conspiracy behind the death of Pimp C. Do you feed into that? How does the family feel about his death, his cause of death, as they uh, report it? I don't do the whole conspiracy shit, man. I was there. Like, what I say is, my nigga ain't died I no overdose, man. That's just, that's not, I'll say that much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not a no overdose on no lean, no. He, that is not what happened. You know what I'm saying? And uh, But as far as conspiracy theories and all that, uh, I've heard them. I, you know, whatever. I don't get on with the conspiracy theories, man. I, I'm, I go with what was factual. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what's factual is bro didn't die like it's on the, you know, it's out there. That's not the cause of death. And whatever conspiracies that they put around it or do whatever, man, uh, if you, I, I would just say if you wasn't there and you didn't know, uh, if your ass wasn't there, shut up, man. Like, just shut up. That's fuck it. I'll just make it that simple because the conspiracy theories are confusing a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this. At least with all due respect, you don't have to answer directly to you if you don't want to. Do you know how he passed away? Uh, mm -mm, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And Mama West was trying to prove this until she passed away. She, uh, she wanted to exhume the body. I want to say it was either going to be $80,000 or $180,000. I can't remember. And, um, he needed to be tested for arsenic poison and poisoning. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't tested for that. And the coroner told us, you know what I'm saying? He bled out when he died. So from every opening on his body. So that's from nose, mouth, ears, eyes. You know what I'm saying? In every hole on your body that you could, he bled out. That's not natural. So Mama West worked at a funeral home, uh, you know, within her life. And she knew 
like, no, nah, this ain't, you know, that this not natural. You know, somebody poisoned my baby. So, but she passed away before that could get done. So how is that going to turn out? We had a brother, his name is, he's a Leo. About a year or so ago. He's a cool brother, too, now. And I've, I've heard uh -huh. I've heard you speak on the brother, and I think you guys were cool at one point, but you guys still cool now. I know, um, yeah, but you guys still cool now. He's a Leo. I heard you guys, you know, like he was on the street team, really doing his thing out there, pumping records, and y'all getting some good moments. Is yeah. Right now? I mean, I don't, we, I don't have no problem with nobody. If I got a problem with somebody, you know who they are. Like, he's Leo is doing what he should be doing. Uh, his channel, you know, with his YouTube stuff. I'm doing mine on my end. Like, as long as everybody doing something productive in, in, in their lane, you know, I, I want everybody to keep pushing. Like, I want everybody to win. I'm not, I ain't like that. It's just if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you, and I don't want to fuck with you. It's not like that with he's, you know what I'm saying? We, we just... Yeezy was uh my uh was Mama West too. You know, you it was the way it was, man. Pimp wife and his mama never got along. So Shannara and Mama West never got along. So the first thing Shannara said when she when we got back from LA was, Okay, y'all either with me or y'all with that bitch. And when she said that bitch, she meant Mama West. Well, as soon as she said that, I went in my room and started packing my shit. Cause I already know I'm finna go by Mama West. Cause I know my nigga. That's what you know, would want. Like nobody was so love on his mama. You know what I'm saying? So uh, once I did that, that was another part of the. You know, you gonna y'all started getting black ball right then because if it's Shannara, then it's Bun. If it's Bun, then it's Corey Mo. If it's Corey Mo, then it, you see it's a circle. So you either with that or you with Mama West and. It just, I mean, it was common sense to me. Like, I'm the family. I'm gone. Like, I'm going, all right. And uh, so they would call us mama's babies. Talking about Mama West. You absolutely right. He's, he's the, is mama's baby, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It breaks down in the sectors of how UGK Records and UGK Posse got down. It's like, whatever. He's the, is cut from the same cloth I'm cut from when it, as far as when it comes to where our loyalty st stands. And that was always with the family and Pimp. So it, uh, that might have answered that question better than I thought it I could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, we definitely appreciate you, man, uh, coming through and speaking so candidly about your cooking. Nah, See, um, you always got to let it happen in the future to talk more Rapidly about different topics as well, so definitely, man. Appreciate you. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, go ahead. If you got to open up and I'll leave your social media, any other comments you want to make, more open for you. Bro. We just, I mean, we working, bro. Uh, we, I got a lot of stuff going on, uh, and stuff that I never thought I would be doing, but you know, you know, stuff with pilots and this yeah. pilot got to be done by his day and the pilot got to be turned in by, I never thought I'd be involved in nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So I just tell y'all it's some, some big things coming. Uh, shout out to round table, big wheel and whole team, the whole squad. Uh, I hope y'all got Roku. That's all I'm going to say. I'll give you that much. Probably let you know it's some shit going to go on. So, um, I, musically, man, I'm always be doing it. It's just I'm I'm in the process of getting my catalog, my whole catalog back where it belongs. You know, it's in my hand. So, yes, I had plenty of music, but I'm I'm not just rushing to drop nothing because I want to make sure when I drop stuff, I didn't. So many people that ate off my music, and I ain't get my money. That is like, nah, hold on, man. Before I drop it, it's like I, I gotta know where everything going, you know what I'm saying? So that's all that's coming, but it's it's wrapped up and everything is wrapped in one. I just put it to y'all like that. And just know that um, 
it's going to be some justice for Pimp Legacy. Like, that's uh, as long as I'm here, that's what we're doing. That's what we're working on. And now we finally making some leeway. You know, a lot of shit is green lit already. I just put it to y'all like that. And, uh, you know, we're going to be able to finally, shed, you know, shed some light on it where, like, it should have been. You feel me? So that's that's really it. My social media and shit, man, I don't be... Yeah. Man, look, I'm on YouTube. 17 how 17-T-H-E-H-O-G-G. I don't know. If I, you just, yeah. I don't, bro, I promise, I'm so not tech, whatever you call it. I don't... Tasha, uh, go to the YouTube and Tasha will tell you what my Instagram and Facebook and all that is. I don't know. I don't even know. Well, brother, we appreciate your time. We appreciate your candidness. We appreciate, because we know you got a little bit of a list of people that you're going to speak to in the next couple of upcoming days, week, whatever the case may be. So we appreciate allowing us to be the first that you, you know I mean, spoke your truth on and we can't wait to have you back on. No, nah, I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all, um, I watch from afar and I like anybody who, y'all, to be from the West, I'm not my bad, to be from the East Coast, y'all always, uh, Shout out to y'all, man, because y'all y'all did when it come to pimp. Y'all y'all one of the ones that I always bring him up or you know can tell y'all do y'all homework and see who y'all know who was around and y'all know like you can tell y'all do y'all research. So don't stop doing that, bro, because that helps. It really helps, bro. Like not with me. I'm talking about for pimp. Like it helps with his legacy. It helps with with everything and it keeps people's mind on it not forget no man he didn't die like they said he died like you know like just keep doing it because y'all that's why y'all keep digging in and whatever because y'all can see something ain't right y'all can see it that's why y'all keep doing interviews and and digging and whatever because y'all y'all can see what y'all on i like this shit something ain't right here and like that's what everybody is seeing with their own eyes but they don't I know how they feel like I did. They don't want to believe it, but yeah, it's going to have to believe it, Jack. Because <laughs> it ain't no lying about it. You know what I'm talking about? We got a ton of love for Houston. Houston got a ton of love for us. We can do so, man. It's a wrap right here on the Hip Hop and Sensor Podcast. Yeah. Definitely appreciate your time, brother. Salute, man. See you next time.